Sky. The very I like glamorous him now. singing star. It, it was born out of frustration. <laughs> And so I shared that frustration with, um, with some engineers and we talked about different ways of, of maybe achieving getting that amp to sound full and fat and uh, without, having to, without having to sacrifice the sound, you know, but yet turning it way down. And what we determined was that the quote unquote power tube distortion that we thought we were achieving by cranking this thing up loud was not actually happening in the power tubes, it was happening in the phase inverter tube prior to the power tubes. And so we knew we had to protect that interplay between the output of the preamp and the input of the phase inverter, which is the first stage of the power section. It does a lot for uh, marriages. Whether you're in your bedroom and you don't want to blow your neighbors away. It does a lot for sleeping babies. And that's crucial for every bedroom guitar player across the country. <laughs> In a traditional master volume, the master volume sits in front of that phase inverter, interrupting that nice interplay between the output of the preamp and the input of the phase inverter. The problem according to John is like, you can't achieve the maximum tonality that's meant to come out of this amp at a low volume without this knob. You know, it's like, it, the problem is bad sounding amps at low volumes. What we've done is we've taken that, we've taken this master volume and put it after the phase inverter tube, not interrupting that nice interplay between the preamp and the beginning of the power section where all that nice distortion occurs. Um, that's been done in the past, but we did it in a completely different way so that the power tubes are running at full capacity all of the time. Where you hear, yeah, you can hear the distortion in the preamp, but you can also hear the strings chime. Are we still rolling? I am absolutely excited about putting our mark on the history of music and music equipment. To me, there's nothing more exciting than that. And that is the best thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we are sort of like a, a mojo buster over here. You know, there's no such thing as mojo, only science that you don't understand yet, right? And so we spend our time trying to figure out how does that mojo happen? What's the science behind it? And then we work on that problem. And that's, that's one of the things we do here. <laughs>